Okay, so after trying to film this twice already before, I'm going to try for the third time. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kim. How have you been? How was your week? I haven't seen you in a week, or you haven't seen me in a week, because I'm not a stalker, I don't stalk people, just to clear that up. So today, what I wanted to talk and share about to you is uh, the GCSEs I took in school. Now, I took four GCSEs options in year 10 and 11. <clears throat> I chose them when I was in year 9. don't know what I was thinking, but I did. And I just wanted to share my opinions about them and comment down below or like this video if you are taking GCSEs at the moment or if you've taken them, you know, if you have or if you're in year 10 what GCSEs have you taken or what GCSEs are you doing? Maybe we did the same GCSEs and we can help each other out. Now I don't know whether this is just in Britain but we had obviously four GCSEs and we had to pick them in year 9 so we can do them for year 10 and 11. I picked Sociology, Spanish, ICT and Food Tech. And each one of them I loved, but they all had their differences. Spanish first. I liked Spanish for the first year I was doing it. The teacher was really nice. She helped me out, even though she was a little bit of annoying because I was a teenager, I was growing up, I was hormonal. I mean, come on, girls, we all know that stage. And she was, she did know how to annoy me, let's put it that way. So she did annoy me quite often, but when... I had good days, she would help me out with the work, and it was really, really nice, and I did actually quite enjoy Spanish. But then after that, after year, ele after year 10, sorry, came year 11, and the teacher changed because she was having a baby, and she didn't, obviously, she was on maternity leave, so she didn't teach us for that year, and so we had a new teacher, and he was okay, but I ended up dropping out of Spanish, yeah, okay, High school dropout, no, one class dropout, one class, because I didn't like the way he taught. He would start the lesson on stuff that we didn't know yet, so like he would give us numbers, like we knew 1 to, I think it was like 50, we knew 1 to 50 in Spanish, and <clears throat> he would sit there and say, well, how do you say... 1,528, for example, in Spanish, and all of us would look at each other and just be like, I don't know any of that, pardon me, and then make us list, like, write them down, like, he would either put the number on the board, or write it in Spanish and say, either translate it, well, yeah, no, yeah, translate it from numbers to words, or from words to numbers, so... It was a little 50-50 hard, but not, like, some numbers I got pretty quickly, like, from 1 to 10, bosh, I'm your girl for 1 to 10 in Spanish. But anything up that, it just, don't even bother coming, looking for me, because I ain't got a clue, I don't know nothing. But, no, I, I did enjoy it, it was just the teacher, I just didn't like him for it, you know, just my personal reasons. Next is Food Tech. Now, I absolutely loved Food Tech with a passion because A, we got free food, B, we get to make food, and it was just a barrel of laughs. Like, we used to have flower fights with each other. We got quite a lot of trouble for that, but it was worth it. And what are you doing? And yeah, so it was just really fun. Like, all the criteria work we had to do. Some of it was fun, some of it was really boring. But, it all in all, it was fun. I mean, I had a good time. I got a grade out of it. And I'm thankful for that I got a grade and I know how to cook now. Next is sociology. It's the same as Spanish. I didn't drop out. I stayed in at this one. Yeah. But... Year 10, we had an amazing teacher. He was just so sweet, so lovely, so like gentle and kind. He would tell us what we're doing, let us get on and do with it in our own time and in our own like space, like if we were comfortable. Um, 
and he could shout when he wanted to. Like, if all of us were being rowdy teenagers, he would stand there and you would hear him from downstairs. Like, honestly, his his voice was just like, yeah, yeah. it's like Gotham. Is it Gotham from Lord of the Rings where he was like, you shall not pass? Is it like that? Well, yeah, you could hear that for miles away. I just hit myself in the nose. But, yeah, from, like, miles away. And, honestly... He was, even though he could shout, he was the most nicest, sweetest teacher of legit, <laughs> of like all time. He was so nice. And lastly is ICT. Now, in year 10, I actually got a C grade by the end of the year. And I did have the option to carry on or not. I decided to carry on because I wanted to know more. Bearing in mind, I had my one hour, is it one or two? No, it was two hours a week, GCSE, ICT. But I also had my normal ICT lessons. So I kind of, it was just more catch up work, but a little more in depth. And yeah, so I did have the option. So see who car alarm is at. Thank you very much. So I did have the option to completely forget about it in year 11 and just get on and do a load of other work in the library never knew where our library was but it's all right I found it in the last year but I decided to stick at it because I liked the teacher he was nice and sometimes he let me get away with stuff that other teachers didn't like I used to sit there and eat in class I used to put my feet up on the desk I used to have fizzy drinks I used to have actual like normal drinks that it wasn't even water like just sitting next to the computer tower thing and he would just look and just be like, yeah, cool. He would sometimes give me an apple. That sounds really lame, but he would give me an apple. Like, if I was hungry and if he had food, he would give me an apple or a packet of Haribo's. Like, I swear to God, the school was fattening me up, I swear. And, no, it was really, he was really, really nice. Like, he helped me through that whole last year. And any problem that I had with any other teachers or any other, like, subject type things, if I needed help, I would go straight to him and he would just be like, right, girl, we're going to get this started. And I'd be like, okay, sorry, let's do this. And he helped me so much through all of that, which was really, really nice of him. And I did get a B in ICT, but he forgot to mark one part, which really, really annoyed me. But all in all, they are my four GCSEs, and if you want to know any more, a little bit about about them more in depth and like what I learned and what are the things that I learned in there and what do I use them for now then comment down below also comment down below if you are taking GCSEs you know what are you taking if you've done your GCSEs what did you do you know how do you think you did you know just talk to me I don't know I sound a bit like a loner now don't I but it's all right I've got my can here and I've got my phone so I'm fine and of course you guys. And also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a subscription. So let me know that you guys like some of this stuff. Don't worry. More up videos will be coming soon. I won't just be sitting in this chair. Because I swear to god there is a different piece of clothing on this chair every week. Which is a good thing. But it's weird. Like I had to kick the cat off the bloody chair yeah plus I might do a little bit of filming in my room instead of my mum and dad's room because this is their room at the moment and you can actually see my mum's hat which is there which is some cricket stuff I don't even know but yeah so give this video, video a big thumbs up a comment if GCSE stuff or if you want to hear me do more about GCSEs or something like that also subscribe and I'll see you guys next week bye also, apologies for this video being really, really long and my face not cooperating with makeup and my hair not cooperating with my head and heat and humidity. It just never goes right. See you next week, guys. Bye.